How's it going guys? This is Tom here. Uh, you may know me better as Root Junkie or TomSGT123. Uh, today I've got a cool video here. We're going to be showing you guys how to use a tool to work on this device right here. It is the Samsung Gear Live. And what this tool does is it unlocks your bootloader, it can install torque recovery for you, and it can restore your device if you brick it or just want to return stock. So let's get into this. <laughs> Alright guys, first things first, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what you're going to have to download to do this. So here is the Gear Live Watch tool. This is on XGA. Here it is, Tom SGT. That is moi, yours truly. And right now we're on version 2, so you just click on the download link and download the latest version. Here's version 2. Go ahead and click it. And then when you see this screen, just wait and your download will start automatically. Uh, once you have it downloaded, you can see it's downloading right here. Once it's downloaded to your device, um, we can extract it, and I have the folder already open. Go ahead and read through this, though, this post. It will be linked in the video, so uh, be good information on here for you to have. Then you're just going to extract the zip that downloads, and here it is. I've already extracted it into this folder. So this is what you're going to be working with right here. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple to do this. First thing you're going to do is um, you're just going to go ahead and, if you have Windows, you're going to use the number one uh, Gear Live tools for Windows. Or if you have Linux or Mac, you're going to use the number two Gear Live tools for Linux or Mac. So there you go. Those are the two files you're going to be using. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to run the VAT file right here. And I'm just going to set this sucker over here. And basically, this just talks about the tool. Um, and then it does a little quick device check right here if your device is connected correctly and that's cool if, if it is. So first thing we got to do with this tool is option number one is ADB driver install. But to do that we have to enable ADB debugging on the device. So we have to turn developer options. Let's check this out on the device. Alright guys so here you go. You've got your device. You're just going to tap to get into uh, your settings here. Sorry if I'm shaky, this thing's a little hard to keep straight. I did take the uh, arms off just so I can get a flat surface here. So you're gonna go into settings. There we go. And then you're gonna go down to about. And you're gonna go to your build number right here and you're just gonna keep tapping on it. And then right about there, you are already a developer. Swipe back. And now you should have developer options. And here we go. So you want to have your device plugged into your charging dock and cable and plugged into your computer already. And then just go ahead and hit developer options, UADB debugging, and check it. And it's going to actually install some drivers onto your computer. Also, you're going to get this pop-up window like this on your device. And you have to hit allow and hit OK. Um, that just allows your computer to connect over ADB to your watch. All right, that's very important. You have to do this step for this tool to function correctly because it uses a lot of ADB and fast boot commands. All right, so now that we have the watch set up and ready to rock and roll, um, we're going to go ahead and do option one and do the driver install. So hit option one. And basically, it's going to start up the tool here and it gives you two options. One is install the drivers. My driver's already installed. I'm going to skip this step. But do it if your drivers are not functioning correctly. And two is ADB test the driver. So we're going to go option two and hit enter. And press any key to check if your drivers are installed correctly. So press the space bar there. And basically if your device comes back and it says a number and says device, it means your device is attached and ADB is functioning. If it's not, go back and figure out why your drivers are having problems. Hit uh, any key again. And it's going to reboot into bootloader mode. So there you go, you can see you're in bootloader mode. And then if you press it again, it's going to test your fast boot drivers in bootloader mode. So press any key and just give it a second here and it should return again fast a number and fast boot. Again means your device is functioning correctly in fast boot mode. If it doesn't come back like this where it says a number and fast boot, it means you have a problem with fast boot drivers and you need to get your drivers figured out. Press any key to reboot the device. So the device will boot back up normally and press enter and your tool will restart. There you go, you've checked your drivers. Your drivers are working 100% functional. You are rocking with the drivers. 
So once this thing reboots and my tool finishes starting up here, we can go ahead and unlock the bootloader on the device because we know our drivers are functional. Mm -hmm. Quick note, if you have a problem with drivers installing, come in here, go to computer, right click and hit manage. This is going to open up a device manager and um, basically what I want to show you here is how to do a quick manual install of your drivers. So go to device manager. Um, you're going to be looking for something like this or maybe it'll be under, shoot what would it be under like ports, not ports, something under some one of these down here, uh, maybe not press, probably under ports, it'll be like some device listed there and then you can go in here and you can say um, update driver software, you can browse computer, let me pick and then you can try to find something Google is normally what I use and then hit ADB interface drivers and install them. It may tell you that they are um, not compatible but if it's Google and it says ADB interface drivers you're probably good. Install the drivers. If you have a problem with it um, pick another from the list here. There's a whole bunch in here that you could try but you want to get those ADB interface drivers functioning. Alright there we go that's my quick tutorial on getting the drivers working if the universal driver tool that I have built in does not function. Alright, so we're all booted back up. We're going to go ahead and hit option 2, unlock the bootloader. And there we go. And basically, again, it just tells you you need to have ADB working, all that kind of stuff. Warning, this will factor reset your device, so be prepared for that. Press any key to unlock the bootloader, so just push the key. And it's going to go ahead and go into um, bootloader mode. There we go. That just gets into bootloader mode. I got another check here that says press any key to start and it's going to unlock the bootloader. You can actually see right here if your bootloader right there says unlocked false. So once you unlock the bootloader it should stay true so we're going to press any key to start. Alright bootloader is uh, wiping. Everything looks good. Again now it says bootloader or unlocked true right there on the screen. So you have an unlocked bootloader. Once it's unlocked go ahead and press any key again and it's going to reboot the device. Mm -hmm. There we go, we are rebooting and it should boot into recovery really quick. You can see right there it is. And it's going to go ahead and wipe the device because unlocking the bootloader does a factor reset. It's just how unlocking the bootloader works. Um, again, we can hit enter on our tool and it restarts the tool again and gives us back to our options. So let's let this finish booting up and we'll go ahead and show you some more. All right, so you guys are gonna have to set up the device back to the device just like you got it new resync it and re-enable ADB debugging. I'm gonna skip through all this stuff so we can get back to the tool. Alright now that we've got our device set back up with ADB everything's reset up we're good to go again. Um, you can do the test drivers again if you want um, should be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right down here. You do have root access on here. I do have temp root. It's very funky. Only use it if you know what you're doing. Um, it is an option 7. I'm actually gonna well, we'll talk about some others quick. I have relocked the bootloader if you ever want to do that to go back to 100% stock. It is an option. does not wipe recovery. It's very simple to do. You can flash just stock recovery if you flash twerp and you want to go just restore your stock recovery. You can flash just your boot image in case you have problems with the device booting up. It is an option here. And you can flash twerp and you can restore your device completely by flashing system, boot, and recovery. Um, I'm going to show you how to flash twerp really quick. So we'll just do option 8 and uh, press any key to continue. Again, you can see your device is going to go into a bootloader mode. Sending recovery right now, writing recovery, and you're done. If you want to go and check out Twerp, you can swipe down and swipe down again to recovery and then swipe over and that's going to start recovery. And since you just flashed Twerp recovery, you should be good. Again with your tool just go ahead and hit enter and it will restart again. Here you go. You have Torp Recovery on your Gear Live watch. Once you're done just go ahead and hit reboot system. Uh, no for refixing root. Don't worry about that right now. And shabam you just booted back up. You have Torp Recovery installed on your device. Alright so we're going to go ahead and get into the very last option. And the last option is going to be a full restore. So to do that we're going to go ahead into our tool and we're going to hit option six. Here we go. And there's a lot to read right here. It's very important you read it, but I'm going to show it to you. 
So basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get into bootloader mode manually. And I do this because if you break your device, you can restore it by getting in manually because you can't always just ADB reboot bootloader to get into your bootloader. It doesn't always function if you're in a bricked or boot loop state. You're going to have an issue. So this is the way to get into your bootloader. Basically pick up your device, hit your power button on the side, and just keep holding your power button. Keep holding it, keep holding it. Your device is going to reboot eventually, and when it does, you're going to see the Samsung logo and you're going to do some swiping. So swipe, swipe, mm -hmm. let go, and you are in bootloader mode. Now you can use the restore tool. It's very important you get into it this way, otherwise this tool does not function. Um, so press any key to continue. Let's go ahead and do that. And you're going to erase your system. You're going to send the new system. You are going to send recovery. You are going to send boot. And you're going to be reset. Now, to wipe data and do a factory reset, you'd have to go into recovery and do that after you do this process. Um, I'm not going to actually do that step right now, but if you want a full, completely wiped device reset and restored, then you'd want to go ahead and do that as well. So there you go, everything's done. Talks about the restore right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Reboot the device again, or the system again here, the tool. Swipe over to start, and it says it's starting. And you should be starting up the watch again right here without any problems. Should be a clean startup. There you go, the tool's rebooted. At this point, if you want, you can go ahead and close the tool out. And there you go, your device is restored. You have stock recovery back on it. Anything you broke on it is fixed. You unbricked your device officially. All right, there you go, that is the tool. Um, try to make this thing as simple as possible so anybody can use it. Uh, if you like the content, please give me a big thumbs up. Um, I will be putting all your links you need down in the video description along with the link to my channel. Uh, on YouTube. You can check that out as well if you like this content. Um, subscribe to XCA and we'll catch you next time. Root Junkie out. I would not say noob. Sounds like boob. When I, when I type noob, it sometimes comes up with boob. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you should not say noob in your video because people are like, wait, what did you say? <laughs>